Be still and know, I am the Lord. Letters from God in His Christ, Volume 6 July 27, 2007 From our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ A letter given to Timothy For Carly and for all those who have ears to hear Carly's Question Timothy, I have a question for God. Why do I worry like I do? What can I do to relax more and be at more peace and enjoy life more? Jesus speaking. Beloved, you are most beloved. Serve me and you shall have peace. In the serving of another shall one follow me. As I have come unto you and you have known me, you have yet to come into my fullness, knowing of me, yet not having come to abide in my love, which is the foundation of all truth and prophecy fulfilled in you. For though I am as the Father, he of me and me of he, I laid aside my glory so I might come to you as you are in the flesh, yet not living as any man. I am yours, and you are mine. For I was lifted up and nailed to a tree, so you might come to me. Even then I knew you and loved you, writing your name upon the palm of my right hand. And in that same moment was I fashioned upon your heart, though you had not even been born into the world. Having been saved already, held fast by my love, cleansed by my blood, I know all who will come to me, and all who are mine, received of my Father. For I am also your Father, and through whom you were made, even in the beginning. It is my breath by which you have life. It is of my Spirit you shall be born again into glory, of glory by glory, held fast under my bosom, in that day which approaches quickly. Peace is in the knowing that I am who I am, and there is none like me. Joy is coming to live in me. I am your sanctuary. Trust comes by faith and acceptance that I am the all in all, under which all things exist and have life. Even all things have been put under my feet from the beginning, as I am he by which all things that are were created even all these worlds. I died, my glory set aside so I might be glorified in you. I am risen, death is overcome, so you might be born again into that life which is without end. Behold, you are also risen and shall be lifted up. O death, where is your power? O death, where is your sting? Death is put to death and the grave is covered over in me. All these things you know. How then, beloved, my precious little one, do you yet ask of life and how you might have it in more abundance? Just believe and be still and know. I am the Lord. What of all these things of the world that catch your attention? They are but a wisp a moment soon passing into a sea of forgetfulness. Know you not this world as you now see it is passing away? For I am come and have come already to free you, beloved. Behold, I am coming to steal and take back even all my treasured ones. They are mine. Lo, I am returning and shall condemn the world and all therein which is against me, rebuilding it upon the new and everlasting foundation which shall never be moved. For lo, your fathers had rejected me, and to this day I am despised of many nations. Yet the cornerstone is established still, even in the hearts of men, holding up that which had fallen down. So I am come to place in Zion a rock, even the head of the corner, of which the whole world will behold. Even all shall see the morning star arise upon the mountain, which fills and encompasses all things, bringing forth a new heavens and a new earth. 
Beloved, your concerns are answered in this. There is one constant in all the universe, and by whom all things have their being, even all life, even all these stars in the heavens. What is his name? What is his son's name? Shed the skin of this world and put on Christ, and walk in the fruits therein, and have peace, joy, and love of such a kind that surpasses understanding, nor is it of the kind that one can find in the world. Trust in me, and know I am with you always, even to the end of this age and ever after. Sing Amen, beloved, sing for me, and you shall behold my glory, the glory of God's one and only unique Son, who has given up for you 